Aloha everyone! Today we have a tutorial for learning how to sing and play the ukulele at the same time. I get this question all the time. People are like, it's so hard! How do you sing and play ukulele at the same time? It is hard, it's challenging because they're separate skills. Singing is a difficult skill, playing the ukulele is a challenging skill, singing and playing ukulele together is a whole other skill. And so uh, the same thing that I would tell you for learning uke, practice slowly. Practice slowly and practice often. Um, so today I'm going to show you some steps for how you can practice and uh, learn to build putting those skills together. And we're going to use Stand By Me as our example song. So you can go here to learn Stand By Me if you don't already know it. Probably if you've been following my lessons, you know it already. And you can just pull up your chord chart to uh, refresh yourself and have it at the ready for when we start singing and playing. Okay, so step one, right? To get started, just practice singing. So have you practiced singing, just, just singing, not playing and singing? That's an important part of learning to sing and play because they're separate skills, right? So practice the singing skill by itself. I learned to sing, uh, well, I've been singing pretty much my whole life. And so putting the ukulele with the singing was easier for me. But if you've never really spent a lot of time singing, then you need to kind of beef up that skill um, to help you make it easier to put them together. So, practice singing right now. I'm gonna play the first verse of Stand By Me. And so don't touch your ook, right? You don't, need, you don't need the ook, you just need your voice. And so see if you can listen to yourself, right? See if you can listen to me, match me in terms of rhythm, right? Which notes I'm on, the pitch, and also, um, just feel that you're connected to your voice when you're singing. Okay, so let's give it a try. And also there's a pickup that I, I notice a lot of people miss, right? So it's when the night, right? So make sure that you get that pickup. It's a, before you play that first downbeat of the song, okay? So we'll play the C as a pickup. Okay, we're gonna sing here. When the night has come practice singing by yourself. You can sing in the car with the radio. You can sing in the shower. You can go to karaoke and practice. It's just beefing up this, this singing skill before you try, well, while you're trying to put it together with the ook skill. Okay, so step one, practice singing. Step two, sing and air strum. Air strum Air strumming is a technique I use with my students all the time. I think it's really helpful for establishing um, in your body what you're supposed to do before you make sound. So it's just strumming in front of your strings like air guitar, air ukulele, yeah? Okay, so, so grab your uke and you're going to go through the chord transitions in the left hand. The right hand is going to do the motions of the island strum without touching the strings. All right, so let's try it on the C, right? Just in front of your strings. We're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. F, F, and then G7, G7, down, up. Up back to C, down up, up down up down down up, up down up. Okay, so that might be confusing, right? Um, you might not know. Okay, wait, am I doing the down down up? So it's okay. It's more just about teaching your body. Oh well, these are the things 
that my body needs to do. And now you're going to focus on singing while your body is air strumming. Okay, so I'm going to play it for real so that you know you can hear what you're air strumming with. But focus on singing with me while you strum in front of your strings and do your chord transitions. All right, so we'll give an intro on C, right? Two on C and then into the chord pattern. C, two, three, air strum. All right, here's the pickup entrance. When the night has come, A minor, and the land is dark, and the moon F and the G7 is the only seal I will see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Okay, so did you lose track of your strum? Did you lose track of your chord transitions? Those are important things to establish, right? Do you have this body part, uh, part of the playing down before you try to then add a, a more challenging physical part of it, which is the singing? So that's something you can practice. Practice the air strumming. You can actually do that with all of my videos. You can practice air strumming, right? Just practicing the chord transitions and strumming in front of your strings just to get the feel of it, right? While you're trying to um, figure it out. That way you're not distracted by the sound that you're making. Okay, so step one, sing. Step two, sing and air strum. Step three, we're going to speak the words on the melody while we're strumming. You're gonna strum for real this time. So the thing is the strumming has its own rhythm and then the melody of the song that you're singing has another rhythm. So that's what gets confusing, right? Your body's like, oh, I'm going down here, but I'm singing here. So you're going to try to speak the words on rhythm to teach your body, okay, this is where I place the words and without the added difficulty of trying to sing it, right? You just speak it so that your body knows where to put the words and then you can worry about the sound of uh, that is on the words later. Okay, so it's gonna feel like this. Um, and I find it's, it helps to stress the downbeat word, right? Meaning we go, when the night, right? Has come, right? And the land is dark, right? So your body learns how to feel the word that goes with the downbeat. And in my chord charts, I try to put uh, the word, the chord over the word that you're singing with. So that's something that can help cue you as to where um, where the downbeat word is. Okay, so let's try it. You're gonna strum for real this time, but just speak the word. So we'll go C as an intro. C. We'll speak here. When the night has come, A minor, and the land is dark, the moon is the only light we'll see. I like to lean into the downbeat. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. Okay, so. So if that was challenging, then stick with me for this next part. We're going to do the chorus, and, and all you have to focus on is that on the downbeat, you're going to say stand, okay? We're gonna go stand by me. Oh, A minor, stand by me. Oh, F, stand, G7, stand by me. Okay, the chorus is going to be easier to focus on. You can just speak the word stand, even if you feel like, oh, I can't handle the rest of it. That's all you need to do. And then, you know, you win a gold star, right? Just stand, that's enough. <laughs> okay, because once your body gets used to where that's placed, then you can add in the singing tone um, 
easier, right? You, you establish the rhythm first, and then you can then you can worry about the tone of it. Okay, so step one, sing. Step two, sing an air strum. Step three, speak the words while you're strumming. And step four, putting it all together super slow. I'm a huge advocate of practicing slowly. Um, I I enjoy practicing really slowly. Like I will set the metronome at like 40. It'll be like tick, tick, like really slow. And I like it because it forces me to really focus on my rhythm and timing. And I think musicians across the world will, will tell you that the better your timing is, the better your musicality is overall. So um, it's something to practice anyway. Um, but putting together the singing and playing, it's, uh, it might be challenging to make yourself play that slow, right? If you haven't had that musician's practice, you know? So um, challenge yourself, play that slow. See, oh, am I staying in rhythm with the island's drum? Am I staying in rhythm with my voice? This is how slow, we're gonna go this slow, right? Island's drum will go down, down, up. Sing here. When the night has come, A minor, and the land is dark, and the moon is the only light we'll see. Step one, sing. Step two, sing an air strum. Step three, speak the words and rhythm while you really strum. Step four, put it all together super slowly. Yeah? If it feels like, oh, you're not getting it, go slower, go back. Just repeat, practice, five minutes a day even. <laughs> okay, I hope these steps are helpful for you, just depending on your own voice you can pick and choose these steps and practice as you need to um, let me know in the comments how it's going hopefully this helps and uh happy singing happy strumming and i'll see you guys next time cheers